20 years later and I remember it like it was yesterday. I was here. I was here in this firehouse. It was a beautiful Tuesday, sunny. It was just a beautiful day. It, it was what you would call beautiful baseball weather. Uh, and, you know, when I first heard of the plane crashing into one of the towers, I, I, I thought I was hearing things. You know, a couple of us went up to the roof of the firehouse. You could see clearly across. You could see downtown. That day was clear and, you know, beautiful day. They were using us to call in other cops that were off, that were home. You had uh, every fireman, every policeman was total recall back to their firehouses and precincts. You still, you didn't want to leave that, that ground zero. You, you wanted to keep working. You wanted to, to have hope to find someone alive. Um, I grew up in Manhattan. I passed those towers all the time. And to see those towers gone was an unbelievable sight. Like, I just couldn't believe it. There were guys who, right after 9-11, were down there on their own, digging on their own, and they just stayed there. And those guys, you know, they slept there, they stayed there, you know, from day one. And they were there, some guys were there for like a month straight. I was working, I believe it was like five in the morning to five in the afternoon. We had two different shifts going on. So it was 12 hour shifts. You would have uh, an evening shift, a morning shift, and it was like five, to 5 and then 5 p.m. to 5 in the morning. Um, and, and I did it for probably like 30 days straight. I'll tell you, baseball made a big impact on September 17th. Uh, win or lose, the Mets win or lose, um, it didn't matter, but, it, but we needed something. We needed a distraction, and baseball was that distraction. Uh, it was great, it was bone chilling that the, the way it turned out, the way it did with New York winning that game on a Piazza home run was almost like, you know, the, these angels now that we had, uh, you know, were guiding the Mets to that victory because New York needed that victory. Um, it was just amazing. George Bush, the president, obviously coming out to Yankee Stadium and um, the Yankees in the World Series, that was big. Probably, you know, for sports people, and especially here in New York, it's kind of, uh, I think it will go down, you know, forever, you know, as it has, it is 20 years later that, that, you know, gives you goosebumps every time you watch it, you know. We have the saying, you know, never forget. And it's something that, you know, we continue to say 20 years later. Um, you know, for a lot of us, you know, 20 years have passed, but it's like it happened yesterday. Um, and you remember the friends you lost, you remember, you know, people's families that were never found. And, uh, you know, and baseball's never forgotten. Uh, especially the New York Mets and the New York Yankees. They continue to honor these 9-11 heroes, uh, whether it, it be the organization itself or, or players who were probably kids back then, you know, have never forgotten.
the New Yorkers have embraced him, and he's embraced New York very well. To have one of their superstars wearing a set of cleats to honor, you know, that day, it's, it's, it's amazing. Um, you know, Aaron Judge was probably 10 years old, maybe, if any, if, if that, maybe younger when this happened. And for him not to forget and to honor and to know that, you know, he represents the city now, you know, it's, it's just an honor that he's doing something like that. get a taste of the culture in New York and you fall in love with it, then you just become a New Yorker. So he's a New Yorker now. So, of course, the design inspiration behind these cleats is September 11th. It's about honoring the city of New York and its heroes. On the outer sides of the cleats, you can see the depiction of the Twin Towers in their full beauty and glory. On the right side of Aaron's cleats, you can see the Twin Tower light beams that are casted in the sky every September 11th. That combined with the six first responder units that lost heroes on the heels, the Statue of Liberty on the inner left side, and the portrait of the three firefighters raising the American flag high and proud all comes together to truly represent what New York is all about and what America is all about in being strong, united, and resilient.